a warm welcome to all the students of adarsh education society standard 3 subject mathematics topic addition without carrying over students as you have learned addition in grade 1 and in grade 2 in grade 1 we learned addition of one digit number in grade 2 we learned addition about two digit number and now in grade 3 we will be learning addition of three digit numbers but before going to the topic we will revise addition of two digit number and then we'll proceed to our topic our first sum on the screen 86 plus 13 at units place we have 6 and 3 so 6 plus 3 count three fingers after 6 7 8 and 9 in tens place 8 plus 1 8 plus 1 is 9 so our answer is 99 a second sum 34 plus 51 So units place we have four and one. Four plus one that is five, and three plus five that is six, seven, and eight. So our answer is eighty-five. Addition of three-digit numbers, vertical. This is the first method of addition known as vertical arrangement. Now here are some purses of hundred beads in it, triangles of ten beads in it, and some beads are left over. Let us start counting the beads which are left over. Five beads up and three beads down. Come on, start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So our answer is eight. Triangles of tens. Three triangles up and four triangles down. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And purses. Two purses up. And three purses of hundreds down. So one, two, three, four, and five. So five hundreds. So our answer is five hundred and seventy-eight. Arrange the following numbers vertically and add. Our first number is three hundred and two plus one hundred and four. Now you will be solving these sums along with me. So keep your pencil and notebook ready. So are you ready? Let's start. First, we will arrange these numbers according to their places. We have three places: hundreds, tens, and units. So we are going to start with units place first. Our first number is three hundred and two. So two in units place, zero in tens place, and three in hundreds place. Plus our next number is one hundred and four. So four in units place, zero in tens place, and one at hundreds place. Add units place first. Two plus four gives us six. Tens zero plus zero will be zero, and hundreds three plus one will be four. So our answer is four hundred and six. Next example: seven hundred and thirteen plus two hundred and five. Let's try solving the other example in the same manner. Starting with units place first, three plus five gives us eight. One plus zero will be one. Now we are any number plus zero. The answer will be the number itself. Suppose zero plus two, answer will be two. Hundreds place seven plus two, answer is seven plus two. Seven plus count two more, eight and nine. So our answer will be nine. So final answer is nine hundred and eighteen. Our next example, one hundred and sixty-two plus thirty-four. We have hundreds, tens, and units for our first number. But see the second number carefully. Do we have hundreds here? No. We only have units, that is four, and tens, that is three. So we will arrange these numbers according to their places respectively. Our first number one hundred and sixty-two. We have two in units place, six in tens place, and one in hundreds place. For our second number, we have four in units place, three in tens place. Now, can I write any number in hundreds place? No, I cannot because I don't have any number in hundreds place. My hundreds place will be vacant. I'll start adding from units place first. So two plus four gives us six. Six plus three, seven, eight, and nine. And my one will come as it is. 
as I don't have any number below 1 to add. Example 4, 125 plus 2. Now here we have 3 digit number that is 125 and single digit number 2. So we'll arrange this properly and add. In units place we have 5, in tens place we have 2 and in hundreds place we have 1. Plus we have 2 so we'll write 2 in units place. And our tens and hundreds will remain vacant. Start adding from units place first. 5 plus 2. Count 2 more fingers after 5. 6 and 7. 2 will come as it is as we don't have any number below 2. Same way in hundreds place 1 will come as it is as we don't have any number below 1. Our answer is 127. Example 5. 22 plus 342. Now correctly fill in the numbers according to their places. First number is 22. Here we have only units and tens. And second number is 342. So first number 22, 2 at units place. The another 2 at tens place. We don't have number at hundreds place. So hundreds place will be empty. Our next number is 342. So plus 342, 2 at units place. 4 at tens and 3 at hundreds. Start adding units place first. 2 plus 2 will be 4. 2 plus 4 will be 6. And 3 will come as it is as we don't have any number in hundreds column. Our final answer is 364. Sixth example 353 plus 101 plus 112. Now here comes the addition of three numbers. Now first write the numbers as per their places. Now if you observe carefully you can see three numbers are vertically arranged. In units place we have three, one and two. So three plus one makes four and four plus two makes six. In tens place we have five plus zero that is five and five plus one that is six. In hundreds place we have three plus one that gives us four and again four plus one gives us 5. So our answer is 566. Our seventh example 105 plus 3 plus 20. Here we have 3 digit number 105. Next is single digit number 3 that comes in units place and next is 20 double digit number 0 in units place and 2 at tens place. Add the following numbers units place first 5 plus 3 is 8. Tens place 0 plus 2, 2 and hundreds place 1 as it is as we don't have any number in hundreds column. 8 sum 123 plus 2 plus 2. So here 123 is plus with 2 more numbers that are single digit. 2 and 2. So we'll start adding 123 plus 2 that will come in units place. Again we have plus 2 that will come again in units place. So start adding units place first. 3 plus 2 makes 5 and 5 plus 2 more makes 7. 2 will come as it is and 1 in hundreds place will come as it is. Our final answer is 127. Ninth sum 5 plus 31 plus 432. Here we have single digit number 5. That will occupy units place. Then we have double digit number. Here we have both places. Units and tens. So here 1 will come in units place. And 3 will come in tens place. Our second third number is 432. So here we have 2 in units place. 3 in tens. And 4 at hundreds place. Start adding from units place first. 5 plus 1 makes 6. And 6 plus 2 makes 8. Now in tens place we have 3 plus 3. So 3 plus 3 is 6 and hundreds we have 4. So 4 will come as it is. Our final answer is 468. Addition of 3 digit numbers horizontally. This is the second method of addition. 
the number in this method will be written beside each other and not below each other. Starting with our example, 421 plus 351. Adding units place first, in our first number, 421, we have 1 at units place. In our second number, 351, again we have 1 at units place. By adding this both ones, we'll get 1 plus 1, that is 2 in units place. Now in tens, we have a first number is having 2 at tens place and our second number is having 5 at tens place. So 2 plus 5, that gives us 7. Now which place we will be adding? Units is done, tens is done. The only remaining place is hundreds. So now add numbers at the hundreds place. 4 and 3. So 4 plus 3 gives us 7. Our answer is 772. Second example, 203 plus 302. We will solve this example in same way. So the horizontal lines joining units to units, tens to tens and hundreds to hundreds. Our first number, we have 3 in units place. And for our second number, we have 2 in units place. 3 plus 2, our answer is 5. Now in tens place, we have 0 in our first number. And in our second number, again, we have 0. So 0 plus 0, we get the answer 0. In hundreds place, for our first number, we have 2. And for our second number, we have 3. So 2 plus 3 gives us 5. So our final answer is 505. Further, our next topic is draw triangle for hundreds, square for tens and circle for units in the following problems and add. Our first sum is 135 plus 542. So starting with units place first, we have for 135, we have 5 in units place. So we are going to draw 5 circles in units place. Next number, in tens place we have 3. So we are going to draw 3 squares. And last is hundreds, which is represented by a triangle. So we have 1 in hundreds place, so we are going to draw 1 triangle. Plus, our second number is 542. So we are going to draw two circles in units place. Tens, we have four, so four squares in tens place. And five in hundreds, so five triangles in hundreds place. Now we are going to add this, starting from units place, count all the circles. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. So we have seven circles in units place. Count all the squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Again we have 7 squares and count all the triangles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6 triangles. Our final answer is 677. In the same way the second example has been solved for you. 211 plus 123 for which the answer is 300. 34. I hope you are clear with the topic. These are some homework questions for you all. Hope you do your homework sincerely. Thank you.